You mentioned earlier that most of his plays came out of this theatrical context, workshops, yeah. he would yeah. perform it, yeah. maybe change it, only then publish yeah. it. You said that Death and the King's Horseman is an exception, yet by now it's been performed many times yes, and you yes, have yes, seen yes, productions yes, yes, yes. of it. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about which ones, were there ones you liked, what choices did they make, how did they mobilize these kind of Western mask rituals and Yoruba mask and the clash among them? There was a famous controversy around, I think it was a, the performance in Chicago, where Shoinka had, and he was he directed it, and he had considerable difficulty with the African-American actor mm -hmm. playing Elish Noba, the yeah. protagonist, for this simple reason. Well, it seems simple, but it's <laughs> really complicated. Shoinka tried to get this actor to simultaneously speak the lines, dance the lines, chant the lines, right. you know, and mime the lines. Yes. You know. yes. <laughs> and he couldn't get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That <laughs> he is couldn't get him. And then very... finally the guy said, look, look, nobody ever taught me this in the Western schools of right. acting that I went to. Right. <laughs> you know. That's interesting. And showing up, and you guys said, but you are an African-American. Where's the African in the yeah. America? I said, look, I'm not an African. Right. And then said, look, do you mean that you can put any African on stage and they'll just right. act, Weird. dance, yes. mime, and right. chant the lines simultaneously. Right. So he was making tremendous demand yes. on the vocation, mm -hmm. on the skills of the actor. Right. I think this speaks to the particular you know, texture and mm -hmm. feel of the play mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that it combines all of these things that right. are usually kept separate. Right. So for me, the performances in which I have seen, one at University of Ibado, and then one in South Carolina University, I went to give a talk as an accompaniment to the production. Mm -hmm. um, it was marvelous. Then the, the second element I want to highlight about the play is also that I won't mention where I saw this. The worst production I ever saw completely missed out on this. Mm -hmm. For the drumming, for the music, it is the height of extremely polished, sophisticated, trained musical production, right. which you have to get absolutely right. right. So you have to actually go to Bata and mm -hmm. the drummers and actually get it right, because yeah. the all poetry of the dialogue, especially in scene three of the play, mm -hmm. is set against that very skillful, that very sophisticated drum, you know, language idiom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some producers and directors just think that I can just pick up any number Some of African drums. The characters are speaking their lines and these African jungle drums yeah. are uh, sounding. Uh, uh, and so the worst. I, I hear that the best in this particular dimension of the play, although I think when I spoke to Shoinka, Shoinka didn't care much for the production, but I heard from other people who saw it, the National Theatre in the UK, mm -hmm. the, their production mm -hmm. I think was I didn't personally see it, right. but from reviews I read and re uh, reports I heard, that may have been the best in trying to get the musical idiom they right. got that right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, performing opera with second untrained, class, yeah, 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 untrained yeah. musicians. Yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. It really highlights, as you said, that on the page, fascinating yeah. combination yeah. of theatrical yeah. traditions yeah. is yeah. really hard yes, yes, uh, yes, 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 to yes, translate yes, yes, on, yes, in, yes, into yes. a production. Yes, yes.